After weeks of staying closed, Sarah Madison checks with businesses on how it went. Tina Yamaki of Retail Merchants of Hawaii says she's heard some businesses made some sales, others not so much, and with unemployment at an all-time high. She also says there are customers who are cautiously spending their money. Um, so people are actually list shopping now, and what they, that means is they're going into stores with a list of items that they need, and they will only purchase those items on the list because they have only limited amount of funds right now. Yamaki tells us there are also more people window shopping because they just wanted to get out of the house. But TNC Surf says they did surprisingly well this past weekend. The company decided to reopen all six locations. And they were buying like a lot of stuff for the beach, you know, buying, treating themselves and their kikis. Conservatively, the Haleiwa, which was our most tourist driven, we did pretty well. We just were hoping to see more people, but obviously the tourists are not here. Kalistro says they're looking forward to Memorial Day, which is a typical shopping weekend, but also hopes other neighboring retailers open soon, including the bigger stores. Puts a damper like when it's just us or just a few of us, and it's kind of hard to bounce off each other and share the same type of customer. Macy's posted a sign saying it will reopen on Friday. But opening doors to customers is not that easy. Yamaki says retailers are weighing in if they can afford to reopen. A backlog of rent, operational expenses, and the added cost of buying sanitizers and protective gear have to be considered. Then there are those who are still preparing their stores to follow COVID-19 guidelines. Because we all want to be sure that, you know, it's not only safe for our employees, but our customers feel safe and secure in there too. Because that's the only way they're going to come back and shop. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.